Hi everybody, Tim Mimix here and today I want to show you how to color grade dark skin tones in DaVinci Resolve and how to deal with skin tonality. So let's rock the intro! Okay, this is part two of a little series about skin tones color grading. And what I'm often asked for is how to grade dark skin tones. But at first a hint, I will show you my wall color grading process in fast forward, but in a speed that you can follow along my steps if you want. So the first notes are for corrections and balancing out my image. Then in the layer mixer stack, the upper node is my background node and lays behind the bottom node, which is my skin node. And that's usually my common node tree setup. So as you can see, I usually start with a power window for selecting my skin near the nose if possible, because on the area around the nose, you got usually a good tonality as a starting point for the first check of the low, mid and high on the vectorscope. And then I start adjusting my skin tones on the primaries. Okay, and while you see me doing my skin qualifier, I will tell you the first thing about dark skin tones. You can handle dark skin tones the same way as western skin tones. There's no significant difference. Finally, the color of every skin, whether it's Asian, western or dark, is gray. Skin has no color, but we see the skin not gray. But now you know why the skin should always stay, if possible, on the mid-range on the waveform, because there's a middle gray. So white skin is light gray, dark skin is dark gray, that's it. So colors of the skin comes from light, the blood and the veins under the skin, if the person is sweating or freezing, and finally from the light and surroundings. That's a very simple and quick explanation, but it's really important to understand it for your color grading skills. The next thing about skin tones is that each skin type has different tone and different saturation variability. White skin has a medium color variability and dark skin has slightly less tonality and saturation variability. This is the reason why dark skin mostly appears more even to us. And that's exactly why I always try to achieve good tone variability in the skin during my color grading. I mentioned something about this topic in the first video, which I linked in the upper corner. You should always bring in some red and bluish tonality in the darker parts of the skin, more orange in the mid parts and some cyan bluish, maybe magenta in the high parts of the skin. This gives you mostly a good tonality of the skin and the skin will not look so unnatural. It will look much more interesting. Try to play with this rule of thumb. And what you always should try if you are grading your skin tones, in between, increase your saturation and look how much tonality, how different shades you achieved in your, in your, in your grading session. And I think now it's time to look at the image to check out. Yeah, this looks way better. Yeah, can you see it? First we had a lot of greenish, now we have a bit more even and, and we get rid of this greenish tint. And what I always do too is to bring in some contrast in my qualifier, just a bit, not too much. And please always check your image and your scopes. What I do here is to use the lock wheels to accentuate the skin a bit more. That makes sense in the scene because we have a lot of flares and different practical lights in the scenery. And then I check my background again and try to bring in a bit more bluish and greenish parts in the overall image, but not into my skin. As a next step, I try to balance out the saturation a bit more to achieve a better color contrast between the background and the skin. But as always, make small adjustments then you will get a much better look and balancing out is much easier too. Always keep this in mind, guys and girls. And yeah, now that looks good. And a look at the image. Yes, looks better now. And if you recognize that your idea doesn't work, just go a step back. In my case, I go back to the background and readjust it a bit again. A subtle change can change your whole image. And again, 
some small adjustments on the background and then I want to bring in a bit more cyan and blue into the shadows and the mids with a lock. But I guess I better use the primaries for doing that. And now on the gain two. But I think it's a way too much magenta and just a bit back and look at the parade especially if I highlight my skin qualifier and uh, look at the image can you see it on my skin qualifier parade where the colors stays and and the image yeah so step by step now I got a lot more tonality on the skin and especially if working with dark skin tones I highly recommend to bring in a bit more tonality as it looks like at first after exposure correction and balancing out the image and what you should always try to do is to achieve a nice smooth roll off of the highlights and on the dark skin, especially on pro cameras, you mostly have a very nice highlight roll off. But on dark skin, it's more important to check for it than on a white skin. And what helps me a lot too in difficult lightning situations on a skin is to switch to YRGB parade on my vector scope. That gives me the Luma signal in addition to the RGB values and sometimes I need this control to check the Luma level against the RGB levels. Here I can see that I have a lot of magenta in the lower third of the skin and almost no green. But in the mid range there's a bit more green and yellow a bit too. And what I try to achieve is a better color contrast between skin and background. And since luminescence is affecting the colors too, I think it's a good idea to adjust the gamma on the background a bit more and increasing the contrast on the skin too, bring it a bit more on front. But what's a really bad idea on such a relative dark scene is to darken the background and lighten up the subject. Instead, I will bring up more the dusty atmosphere in this room just by make it a bit more flat. But first a last check on the skin. What I have so far is a good looking contrast between background and subject just by bringing in a bit more contrast to the skin and a more flat looking background. But the background should not look too flat, just turning the skin node on and off and now we can work further on the wall image. The skin looks good so far to me. While I'm working on the next notes to use power windows to separate the topic a little bit more from the background, I'll give another tip that will help you get a better feeling for your color correction. Look out of your window. What do you see? Maybe a street with moving cars or a park or a few trees? Maybe skyscrapers? Take a closer look. Which colors do they have? Are the leaves from the trees really just green? Do the houses really only shine golden yellow? What about the light? Where does it come from? Look at the shadows. Look closely. Because only if you look closely, you will discover more and more shades and shades. And in summary, that's tonality. Do you understand now why it's so important not to get the skin exactly on the skin tone line? That's why you should always try to achieve some variability in your color correction. It takes time and practice for sure, but you can too. Especially with dark skin tones, you should always bring in a little more tonality, especially in the middle with a or in the mids, with white skin tones more in the mids and shadows. And now I'm almost done. As you can see, I'm already on my last note to bring in some grain. This is a must if you want to achieve a filmic look. And in addition, you know, it gives me a bit more color contrast and the image appears a bit sharper. And in general, the image looks good now, but 
something is still missing. It's not enough balanced. I guess I should bring in a bit more contrast. Not too much, but I'm missing some punch, some more ingredients, a pinch of more blue shades. This could make our mix taste more rounded and yeah i will do it using another layer node in our layer stack and choose a starting point the blue preset but i will adopt this preset to my needs just by lowering the low of the saturation and the luminance and of course adjusting the u and finally increasing the saturation and color boost a bit for this qualification and it gives me a slight bluish shade in the eyes too as you can see here in the qualification and finally yes this looks good now i'm okay with it and ready for delivery and here you can see the result before and after what do you think I hope you could learn something and if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching and listening. You all a great time as always. Bye.